Hi ladies and gentlemen and welcome to IT Snippets. Today I'm going to show you how to disable some of the spyware that's built into Windows 10 using a program called the Beacon. First things first, if you've not got a Beacon, open up your browser, in my case this is Opera, and go to www.safer-networking.org slash spybot dash anti dash beacon. This will take you to Spybot. For those of you who use anti-malware, Spybot Search and Destroy, it's made by the same company. Scroll down to the bottom and click Download. Once it's downloaded, you just install it like any other Windows application. In order to run it, we'll click on our Start menu and we'll go down to S. And you can see it's been installed here. So what we'll do is we'll run this just now. User account control will kick in and ask us if we trust this application and ask us to click yes. So obviously we did click on it to run it, so we're expecting this, so it can run as an administrator. So we're going to click yes. And this is the main screen that's now opened up. And as you can see, according to this, from Microsoft Spyware that's actually built into Windows 10, I'm only 2% protected. Now I figure that the scheduled task that it will show you here, that's showing that I've got disabled, is Windows Update. I will show you that on another video, how to disable, or rather how to stop Windows 10 from doing auto updates. Something I don't recommend in the long term, but I would rather do my Windows updates on my terms than someone else's, but that's for another video. So as you can see, this is sending telemetry back to Microsoft regarding my host services, group policy, peer-to-peer -peer Windows update. That's basically allowing other users of Windows 10 to download the Windows updates from my PC. Wi-Fi hotspot sharing, I mean, th this is ridiculous. The best thing to do for, for this one here is literally to, you can, I mean, you can move across. There's no box uh, installed, as you can see, apart from the one that we mentioned. But if we click Immunize, it's done it for most of them. Interestingly, it hasn't done it for all of the customer services ones. Okay. Well, I'll leave that for now, jump back to that. We can then go into the optional ones, and here we can see all of the other things that Windows ties into web search group policy. No, I'm not interested, I want to apply that. Cortana group policy. I don't really use Cortana, I don't care. I do use OneDrive, so I'm going to leave that there. Leave both of them there. Remote registry services are blocked. Telemetry host, that's sending information back to Microsoft. I'm going to block that. I don't have Office 15 or Office 16 installed. However, I'm going to apply these blocks just in case. Okay. And then I can move back here. Now, it is interesting as to why the customer, customer experience program isn't actually working at the moment. Why that block isn't working. But, as you can see, when I first started this, I had 2% blocked. And I now have 93%. I'll just try running Immunize again to see if that helps. No, so I've obviously got something in my system that's actually blocking that just now. Not quite sure what that is. As I said, I'm now a lot better protected than I was before running this application. And uh, what I'll do once I stop recording this video is I'll actually go and do a little bit of investigation as to why it's not letting me block the rest of these applications, or rather the rest of this customer experience program schedule tasks so there we go that's how you can disable some of the spying built into Windows 10 uh, this is a little bit different for me if you remember my previous video on spybot anti-beacon or rather using spybot anti-beacon to remove the telemetry and spyware from Windows 10 I had a problem where my consumer experience improvement program scheduled tasks were not all showing as blocked and would not immunize. Well, I found a little way around it, and as you can see from the screen, all of my scheduled tasks are currently blocked. So I've got full immunity now. What I had to do, for some strange reason, and I, I don't know why Spybot wasn't doing it itself, if you click on Show Options, it will show you the five tasks that it was trying to disable. So in my case, I then had to go to my scheduled tasks and then I would open that up and then I would follow the path that it's actually showing within Spybot here so 
Microsoft Windows application experience. So we've got Microsoft Windows application experience. And then I would find the one that I was looking for, in this case, Microsoft compatibility, which is one that I actually deleted rather than disabled. Windows application experience program data updater. And what I had to do is I had to right click on it and click disabled. And as you can see, it's currently disabled. And I just went through the five that are there in order to do this. I'm not quite sure why the application itself wasn't doing it. However, as you can see, I'm now fully protected. I hope this little update helps, especially for those of you who have followed my previous video. If you liked this video, give us a like. If you disliked this video, give us a dislike too. If you get feedback on this or any other videos, then please let us know in the comments below. But most of all, thank you for watching.